Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. The widget of the day is the time picker, which brings up this nice clock that the user can interact with. These widgets come right out the box with Flutter and it's actually really easy to implement into your apps. So let me show you how to do this by jumping into the code. So just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app, which is running my homepage, which is a stateful widget. And inside I've just got here a blank scaffold. So in the body, in the middle, let's create a button and we'll deal with this on press function in just a second. But first let's give it a text widget, just saying pick time. So if I save this, there it is. And let's just decorate this up a bit just to make it look more like a button. Awesome, so here's our button. Now if you click on it, nothing's gonna happen. So let's come to our onPressed function and create a method called showTimePicker. And if you start typing showTimePicker, you should be able to see the widget there. So just press enter. And the only thing we really need to fill out here is the initial time. So if we hover over it, you can see it's requiring a time of day. So let's say the initial time is just the time now. If you save this, we should be able to click on the button and bring up the clock. Cool, so you can play around with this and interact with it. And there's also actually, if you click on the bottom left keyboard icon, you can actually input it by typing it in with your keyboard if, if you like. But I kind of like this nice little clock. It's a, you know, it's a fun way for the user to interact with it. So let's say I, I just pick a time. Well, how do we actually access the time that the user picked? To demonstrate this, let's wrap the button in a column. And above this button, let's display the chosen time with just a basic text widget. So if I just save this, it's going to be scrunched up at the top. So I'm just going to space evenly. And let's make this time text widget a bit bigger so that we can all see this. Cool, so obviously we're not gonna give it a fixed string like this we're going to need to create a variable. So let's come to the top and create a time of day variable. And here you can actually initialize the hour and the minute for the time of day variable. So you can see here, it's actually a 24 hour clock. So let's just say 8.30. So now if I give this time of day variable to my text widget, let's just see what gets printed on the screen. Cool, so it looks like it gives you a time of day object in this format. Now, if you look after the dot, you should be able to see a few options. And let's click on format and just save this. Cool, so there's the time. And now if I pick the time and I click on something, looks like the time is not changing. So what you wanna do is come back to the time picker method. And after the last bracket, if you start typing then, you should be able to see this little method here. So if you hover over this value, this is going to be the value that the user picks. So if the user picks something, then let's set the state and update the time of day variable to be this new time of day value that the user just selected. Cool, so let's test this out. So let's say 12.20 and cool, it updates. Cool, so that's how you use a time picker. Hopefully that was easy to understand. Play around with it and let me know if you have any problems. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!